Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to be unboxing the brand new Casio GB6900-AA. This is Casio's Bluetooth-enabled G-Shock watch that works in conjunction with the iPhone. Right now, it is compatible with the iPhone 5 and iPhone 4S to alert you to both incoming calls as well as new emails right on your wrist. So it sells for $180 and it's available in four different colors. So let me just crack it all open and we'll quickly unbox it. I think I'll get everything out of the packaging first and then show you what kind of is included. So the watch is obviously in here. There's a pretty hefty instruction manual, um, which does come with most Casio G-Shocks. It's in a bunch of different languages. And then a Bluetooth connectivity quick start guide. There is an app for the iPhone that you need to download that you can use also to set up the phone um, with the watch. But basically this watch does a couple different things. Number one, it will beep and or vibrate when a call or email comes in. There's a phone finder that will trigger a sound so that you can find your phone should you lose it. There is a link loss alert letting you know when you've kind of walked too far away from your phone. So if you leave your phone somewhere and you start to walk away, it'll beep to let you know that you've forgotten it. And then you can also adjust the time of the watch right from the phone itself. So those are the features that it can do right now. It's somewhat limited in that it doesn't do things like alert you for new text messages or anything like that, but maybe that'll come. So here is the tin that it comes with with the warranty and then the watch is in here. Now, I picked up the black version, which is kind of two-tone-ish in a way. It's like glossy along the band, and then it has this matte kind of watch keeper here, strap keeper. The face is all blacked out, as you can see. Um, I know it's gonna be hard to make it out on camera, but the face is all blacked out. So here is the watch. Again, um, the whole point of this is to uh, allow you to uh, be alerted when calls come in. So I'm gonna set this up um, with my phone and then come back and maybe show you a couple of the features. All right, so I already have the G-Shock app installed. So let's go ahead and try to pair these two things up. Basically, I press this button that says Discover G-Shock, and then it says to hold down this button up here. Let's see if I have to keep holding it. Hold, it says, okay. And now it's in, I believe, in pairing mode, and let's see if it actually finds my watch. And there we go. It looks like it found it twice. I'm not quite sure why that is, um, but let's just pick one of them. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm not sure why it showed twice. And then it says, uh, enter the code shown on the watch. So there is a code on there, which I'm gonna enter right now. Uh, it looks like 047532, and then I'm gonna hit pair. And we have to wait till it says pairing complete. I just felt the watch vibrate. That's a good sign. And now it's connected, as you can see right there. Um, let's see, there's some settings in here. So alert notification, incoming call, that's turned on. Mail, also on. Then you actually have to add an account. So you actually have to set up the mail account through here. Now it, it doesn't allow you to read your mail here. It just lets you know when new mail shows up, which is kind of cool. You don't have to have you know the push notification setting turned on in uh, your mail app itself. Here is the um, phone finder feature. So there are some different sounds that I can play, I guess, to try to find my phone. And then finally, time adjustment. So I can send the time and date data right from here directly to the watch. Now it's already set as you can see, but I'll just send it again and it'll reset it, I guess, even though it's already set. One of the cool things about the watch is it will go into sleep mode by itself. So if you're not using it, it will kind of turn itself off and it has a sensor inside so that when you pick the watch back up, it automatically reconnects and pairs itself back up to the phone so you can start using it again. Um, let's see what else is in here. Skin, uh, let's see, do you want it to be white or black? That's for the app, uh, language, and then you can remove the pairing process. So everything seems to be all connected right now. I guess the next step would be to try an incoming call. So let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna off camera dial my cell phone number and see what happens on the watch. 
So it's ringing. Let's wait for my phone to start ringing. So you can see. And the watch is vibrating right now and it beeped and now it says incoming call. There is no caller ID um, for this, unfortunately, but at least you know that the phone has rung. So it was a quick beep and then a couple vibrates and then flashing there on the screen, incoming call. Um, it still says it up there. I'm not sure if it will go away after a period of time, um, but that's kind of like a missed call you know cue I can look at that watch and say that I've missed the call hopefully if I maybe if I illuminate the watch I know the blacked out is hard to see there are other modes on this watch obviously like let's see um, stopwatch multi-time or world time alarm um, countdown timer and then of course the time and date so like I said I just wanted to give you guys a brief look at this I'm actually gonna wear this out to CES and see how it works how it performs um, the reviews in the iTunes App Store aren't all that positive right now. There's some issues, I guess, with disconnecting, but I want to try it out and see how it works. And, um, you know, I'll report back with my full review when I come back. So that's been a brief look at the brand new Casio GB6900-AA. Remember, this is the iPhone Bluetooth watch from Casio available for 180 directly from um, your local G-Shock dealer. I will put a link to a couple different places where you can check this out in the video description. As always, if you have any questions about what you saw here today, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.